so we've had all the joy and fun and everything but everything was within the restricted mode of life so that today when i stand here in front of all of you all i can share that life is a combination of all of these it is not that you have an easy cake walk throughout your life no you do mistakes you have to commit mistakes but please understand a mistake once committed you have the drive rectify the mistake move ahead good day to all my name is maya i belong to kerala born in chennai studied in different parts dubai masket chennai kambacho kerala so you know i've traveled across all these places met a different kind of people childhood has been into a different mode then my youth has been into a different mode married life into a different mode so yes that's where my experience and my journey started now in uh, during my childhood it's never been uh, it was very challenging but very interesting and that's where i always believe when your childhood has given you a lot of challenges you come out of it with a laughter with a challenge you have no choice but then ultimately you end up having a good youth that's what i believe in during my childhood i had a lot of friends mingling with people meeting people different kind of people from different culture from different diversities so uh, i mean that gave me a lot of moral boost to to understand that tomorrow is definitely challenging for you so childhood was very very interesting very very interesting so studies went on everything was normal then i went into my college days college days was really the the, the most impeccable part of my life even today that has been a root cause for what i am today during my college days uh, i have been i was very independent because i was in the hostel my parents moved back to kerala and i was still in kambatur i was in a hostel and you know what it is in the hostel life especially when it is a women's hostel so we've had all the joy and fun and everything but everything was within the restricted mode of life so it was easy for my parents also they knew what was happening being a girl they definitely they were concerned but again all my uh, interest was explored i was more into activities i used to go for hiking trekking mountaineering river rafting these were all my college days adventure so when you get into those kind of activities you don't stop you never want to you want to have a better challenge for tomorrow you start looking forward for that and that's how you start moving and that's how i'm i you know i started looking out for better opportunities and better challenges So then after that I think uh, going back to Kerala uh, had to go back after my college of course had lot of plans though but then choices were less options were routine but then choices were very less basically because my dad had to you know get through the the important part of making life we were just living my brother was there it was me then dad mom and mom being a housewife uh, she only could manage the house there was nothing much that she could contribute to the economic side of it but my dad had to manage everything and he had his own restrictions i guess i would say he had his own restrictions but again being in the finance industry you know coming back from uae starting a life in kerala was not that easy that's how we started now after that marriage again that's it was an early marriage though for me but i had to because uh, parents were the decision makers those days and i left it to them because they know the best they always knew the best what was needed for a kid that's how i gave into it i got married children responsibilities commitments all that has been a part and parcel of my life so i've gone through everything so that today when i stand here in front of all of you all i can share that life is a combination of all of these it is not that you have an easy cake walk throughout your life no today if i say if if by any chance i say i'm successful wherever i am it's because this has taught me that every step you keep remember there could be a thorn for you you need to stamp the thorn so that the next step you keep can be a petal you know that's how i started looking into reading a lot of books started working on that started improving my thought process and then i had a vision i had a name that i wanted to study medicine but then that was too much because my dad literally couldn't manage to get into that so then medicine was again sidelined then because of my interest into into all all these uh, administrative uh, services and all that I, he motivated me said 
why don't you look into IFS and IAS? I was again interested. But then that was, though not my piece of cake, I had to, I looked into it. But then again, that again, just wailed away because it, it didn't happen for whatever reasons it is. Then it was like my college was into BCom. I did my bachelor in commerce. So obviously next option is either do your MBA or get into business. Luckily what happened was there was an opportunity in those days to handle the recoveries and collections for banks. That was explored by my dad. He had an opportunity, he had a friend who advised him that he could go ahead with that. So he said, fine, why not? Because anyway, I had finished my college and I was heading home and I had my free time and I could get into it and I could do what I need to do with my additional courses or whatever. And that's how we decided to go ahead with that. We started working initially with a one bench concept handling some of the collections and recovery for one of the major international bank. So I had, we started off with the collections for them in India. So that's how in India, the first, the concept of collections and recovery for an international bank came up. And luckily because dad was into the finance industry, he got an opportunity to explore it. And then we started off with that. And I have finished my college, got into the groove of business as soon as my college was over. The, the international bank, which started off, luckily was a good exposure. Uh, it was it was very challenging, but the challenge was very very interesting because again you are understanding a concept of being an you know economically social positive element. You are contributing for something that the banks are trying to understand, which is not which cannot be levied. We are helping them to contribute it to the economy. So from this stage we started growing. Recognition started coming in. This was not there in Kerala. So that's how this concept came and then many more international banks signed up and then we started working for them. We started contributing our services. We started developing a different kind of culture for collection and recovery. Now that's how I entered into this, then got married. Of course, when I got married, I had to take a stray from this, this kind of business a little bit. I started looking at, you know, studying of computers and all that stuff and that's how I moved on. So my husband then had, uh, he was into the automobile industry and I was looking into this business. It was just happening, moving, happening, moving. Then we got an opportunity. He moved to UAE along with him. After a year, I moved to UAE. So since I had this kind of feel, what it was handling international banks and recovery and collections, I continued with the same phase, came to UAE, started exploring my opportunities here. And then luckily, got up an opportunity to run an agency. It was running an agency then. That was where I understood what this UAE market is all about. So it's about how you want to dive into something and then you start exploring. It is very difficult to explain something unless you don't have the experience. So experience speaks much more than your theoretical knowledge. You know what is recovery, you know how to speak to people, you know how to indulge people, everything is fine. But when you start practically working on it, you understand what are the difficulties, what are the, the, the possibilities, what are the opportunities. That's how we started developing the culture of recovery in UAE to a great extent with a different culture. Because I being in India, being an Indian, started handling the accounts sitting here in Dubai for the customers who are based in India. So that was a different cult altogether. That was very challenging and then I started looking at it three years, three and a half years with the agency. Unfortunately, my health reasons, I had to take a break, left. Then that's a time when my Indian operations, which was already ongoing, had a drift because I had to take a, take a break of three years from India. Now that is where we developed in India a partnership with a person who was already a businessman. He came down. And then, then, you know, the entire system evolved into a different culture and he gave me an opportunity saying that why don't we start up a unit independently in Dubai. That was the first spark of laying my agency here in 2013, if I'm not wrong. 2011, I started off with my agency license work. You wouldn't believe if I said, being a lady, because I was in Dubai, it was very easy. I was, I was quite... Uh, quite not confident but then being in Dubai there was a lot of opportunity which gave me this reason that you can also do it here. We started off as an agency from 2011, 2012 we established the first banking culture, 2013 onwards the, the show was on. 
Now that that show which is ongoing, we started with two people in the agency, just two of them to run and start the show. Now I have 112 people in my agency. Now do I call this success? Yes, it is success. Is it grace? Yes, it is grace. But how did this happen? There are a few concepts which I believe I would like to share today. It's like, what is failure? For me, I always enjoyed failure because Today's failure always attempted me or encouraged me for doing, doing something better tomorrow. Now that's when, I, as I said, I used to do a little bit of reading. I used to observe some of the quotes by Sir Kalam, Abdul Kalam Azhar. He was one such person who always spoke what he believed and experienced. He was not just a sugar-coated person. Whatever he spoke was out of his own experience. When he said, what is the full form for the word fail? Is it, it is called first attempt in learning. Brilliant. That's where the entire concept or understanding what a failure is changed for me. I hope it changes for you as well. He also said, I don't take a word no to an answer because once you start taking no to an answer, it's not about taking a no to an answer. It is about understanding that no is a new opportunity. That's what N-O stands for. Again, that was from Sir's word, wordings again. So when you understand that tomorrow, the opportunity comes and strikes and you believe in taking it, every soul understands this, then there is definitely going to be something which you can excel on. But how do you want to take it? That's how you believe in yourself. Now let me, let me share another very interesting uh, a quote or, or, a, or a sentence which always used to strike me which I think in, 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 in the new generation whether it is for children, students, women, men, anybody this should always, you should remember that doing something with mistakes is much more honorable and appreciatable than doing nothing this is something which is very very important you do mistakes, you have to commit mistakes. But please understand, a mistake once committed, you have the drive, rectify the mistake, move ahead. So ladies, all that I have to tell you is, please understand, we have an opportunity in many forms. When I was a kid, I found out there was an opportunity in, in, in going into adventures and sports, and that made my mind open. Because I never had choices. But that was an opportunity. As I grew into young, young age, my parents were quite strict, my father especially. You know how it is when you're from South India, South Indian, anywhere, you, you have the kind of a very strict family background. He was quite strict. He never wanted anything that's to be on the positive side. He never wanted any harm on me. So he was always strict. But the best part was I managed to grab opportunities because I always opened up to my mother. Again, being a woman, she always stood by my side. She told me what I could do, how I could do it. There was only one thing what she said, never make me look down upon you. That was one thing I think which every child today should always look upon. That was a blessing which I always believed in. If you are a reason for your parents to smile, no matter if you're a kid or a youngster or an old person or whatever, your parents are smiling because of you. The blessings is already in front of you. You don't have to look back. We do our prayers. We do everything that, that you think is the best for you. You do it. But ultimately, if your parents are not happy, you know, that, that, that gives you a lot of pain. So please understand, whenever you have an opportunity, grab it, explore it, make it happen. Believe in yourself. Please believe in yourself that you can do it attempt it so that you know the results leave it leave it for its its own course but at least try attempt and make it happen from your own best ways around again we are the women are a very strong part of the community we cannot be let down that doesn't mean that men are not men are also equally strong but we don't i don't believe in gender equality or trying to establish gender equality amongst men it's just that we have to respect each other respect the capacities what each other possess 
allow everybody who has the capacity to grow equally in this community so that tomorrow we have a better world at least for the upcoming generation to live in we are the creators we have to create for the generation to have a smooth life ahead to all the lovely women there we are talk is a foundation which definitely will help women to come out with their success stories and and you know there are a lot of women who don't know how to bring out what is in them this definitely is a platform ladies please come out feel free contact via and they will definitely let you explore the opportunities you deserve thanks again to via for giving me this opportunity to let my beans spill out with my experience so that tomorrow if this helps it's done for me thank you